Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and today I'm doing an unboxing of a MacBook Pro 17 inch. Um, now I know the new Retina displays are out and there's a reason why I went for this last of the lot. This rare to find or soon to be rare to find um, 17 inch. Uh, 17 inch basically it's a personal thing that I want to have a larger screen because if I'm away from my uh, desk the real estate is what matters um, so this is why we went for it I've got no idea how to open one of these and I shouldn't be bouncing it around like that um, let me find my trusty knife or Stanley knife should I say slide her open that sounded a bit weird okay um, now First time I'm doing this, so I haven't haven't opened one of these before. I'm going from a 2007, I think it is, or six um, iMac to one of these now. Um, it was wow! <laughs> you gotta love it. Look at that. Look at that. Um, even right down to the the top part of the box here, it's padded like a nice, soft, beautiful foam. And here she is. Okay, there we are. Getting the focus now. I think you would lift. Okay, that's to get it out. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Don't drop this. Now, it does weigh about three kilos, so it isn't light. Um, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... I'm really glad I went for this uh, over the retina. Now, the retina display would have been way better. Don't get me wrong. It would have looked awesome. Way better. But, just basically for the 17-inch size that I need, um, it is... It is, it's perfect. That's what I wanted. Oh. Okay, power adapter here. That's the mag safe, so if you bump it, it just comes off. It's magnetic. Um, and to have a look here, we've got the adapter for the power. So nothing too crazy. We'll put that to the side and lift this up. Now I got it at a pretty decent price. I was able to bargain. Um, depending on where you go and where you have a look, some places are like, well, they're going to be obsolete, so we're bumping the price up if you want one, because everyone wants one, because they were going like hotcakes. I mean, I should grab the last one from a store called JB Hi-Fi, um, but, you know, the guy still gave me a discount, so it wasn't too bad. Um, picked it up for around, and I think I still paid a little bit too much for it, but I, I picked it up for around uh, seven, 2700 and I heard you can get them for 2500 as well. Uh, if you look on eBay, there's a guy still selling them there. Um, stickers, paperwork, uh, a chamois, I think, I'm assuming, yeah, for wiping down the Mac with a cool little Mac logo there, I can't, don't know if you can see that, pop that on the side there, wonderful little book with some details about cleaning it, using it, uh, let's have a look if there's anything else here, okay, I see a hole here, so I'm going to stick my finger in and <laughs> pull it out, there we go, <laughs> Jesus, oh, Harry. Okay, now let's see what's in here. Okay, there it is. That's the part that we plug into the adapter here so we can get power. I'll just do that now anyway. Or maybe I shouldn't have. Ah, I love this. The crisp, beautiful plastic. Ah, I love doing that. Okay. So, anyway, we'll have a look at that later. Let's, um... Let's go to the Mac. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love the unwrapping, the crisp, crisp unwrapping. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I love doing that. I love doing that. Um, I'm assuming this would have, that this, oh yeah, hang on, it peels from here, Harry. It peels from here. Okay. I'm going to put it upside down. Gently. Gently. We don't want to turn this into a destroys brand new 17 inch MacBook Pro video. Okay, so there we go. Ah, got her out. So let's throw that down there on the ground. And there she is, if we can get into some decent focus here. Maybe I'll have to do some video showing different angles. Okay, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh my god, this is massive. This is massive. 17 inch. Apple, I don't know why you got rid of it. Some of us love it. I don't know, maybe their marketing demographic or whatever they did. Soft speakerphone there. Oh, wow. 
Unibody, I love you. You anybody. Um yeah, maybe maybe it was because there wasn't enough people who loved and appreciated the large screen. And let's face it, these three kilos, this isn't something you can just throw in your backpack and run around. Whew. Okay, so what I'll do is um power her up if there's any power left in her. Actually what I should get a better angle, so let's see if we can brand new first time I'm powering it up, so what you guys are seeing, I am seeing. Maybe I'll sort of pause it and come back to it, set this all up properly. Okay guys, I'm trying to get a better angle here, but um, this thing is just so big, I can't, I can't capture everything. Uh, let's just hope this comes out alright. Alright, now um, it's saying to pick English language, yes. United States, we're in Australia. And the keyboard layout, it's my Wi-Fi. Alright, we're back now, and... Oh, look at that. I love the way it lights up at the back of the keyboard. Um, my Apple ID, I'll put all that in later. Mac OS license, I agree, yes. The Cinti pad, no. <laughs> uh, if you guys have watched South Park, you'll know what I'm talking about there. We'll register later. We'll just choose something from the library. The Owl. Uh, we're not in Canberra, actually, it doesn't matter. Let's just go straight through. Start using Mac OS 6. Okay, cool. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. Now, as to why I chose this, um, basically, all right, the Retina display is awesome. I would have preferred that, honestly. I wanted a larger screen, 17 inch. For some reason, no more. Uh, so that was one deciding factor. The other thing was the hard drive. I can't remove the hard drive and upgrade it. It's not user upgradable. That or the RAM. The RAM I could have lived with because I could have just purchased the higher up RAM, uh, the hard drive problem. I used to work, and I won't say the company, and it was quite a big company, a world-renowned company, repairing their laptops uh, many, many years back, many moons ago. And what I found was in that place where I worked, when we'd get faulty laptops in and once we'd fix them, a lot of the other techs that worked in there, um, what would they would do is they'd go snooping around to people's personal files, uh, looking at different things. Now, you know, I'm not saying that all of the Mac or Apple repair techs, or if you take it to Apple, Apple, they're like that, but everyone's an individual and everyone, you know, is different. I've got personal family photos, I've got personal stuff on here with my accounts and passwords and so forth uh, for different areas, including my businesses and so forth. Um, I just didn't want to have that there in case, say, the laptop went down or even my... Um, with my iMac, I could have always taken out the drive. That was an issue, but I didn't want to have all these personal details in there. And if something happens with my Mac, I take it in. Um, and again, I don't know who's fixing it. I don't know who they are, whether they would look at it or not. Maybe they wouldn't, but I just didn't want to risk that. Um, and if you take in your uh, laptop to get it repaired, your MacBook, you do need to provide them with all account user, pass uh, your password and account usernames, everything, so they can access it to fully diagnose the issue. Hence why I did not uh, want to go with it because I wanted a hard drive that I can remove. Plus, okay, this hard drive is slower. It's a 54 RPM, 750 uh, gig hard drive. Now, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to either put an SSD in there or I'll put a, uh, you know, another another drive. It doesn't really matter. Maybe a one terabyte that uh, it, or all the same, but with 7200. Depending on what I go with. I am going to change that. This is uh, something I can open up without voiding the warranty. And by doing that, then I can use my own. If something goes wrong, I can swap the old hard drive back in. If it works, great, then I'll know it was a hard drive. If it doesn't, then I can take it in and get it tested and checked out. And that's the wonderful part about all of this, that I can change the parts in it. The RAM I can upgrade. I can buy uh, you know, third-party Mac, unofficially certified RAM and upgrade it, uh, which is a bit cheaper as well than going directly through Mac, uh, through Apple. Um, but you know that wasn't again my issue. It was just a hard drive, and it was basically privacy. Uh, I don't want to have everything in the uh, one machine. I can't remove it. And what was the other thing? Um, look, that that was basically it. Believe it or not, the only thing I've been having an issue is I need to have two dual screens when I'm at the desk, uh, and 
three would be even better. But the one thing with this is um, the new retinas, which is so awesome, and they're so awesome, awesome, is that you connect two external monitors. A little bit difficult to do it with this one. There are third-party cards that you can get that plug in and allow you to do it, but I have heard there's some lagging and issues. But if I do get two 27-inch um, uh, Mac <laughs> Apple displays, which I'm contemplating at the moment, and if I do, you'll know about it, um, I can connect them directly to Thunderbolt, which will be running smooth, awesome, and I'll be, yeah, it'll be awesome. So whether I do that or not, um, we'll see, time will tell. Uh, but for now, here she is, this is what I've got, and this is what I'm going to use. There are a lot of ports on the side here. Um, I know you've got your MagSafe port, that's the one here, if you can see that very well, I'm not sure. Uh, this one is your Ethernet port. This one here is your FireWire. This would be Thunderbolt, the USB 3 ports. You've got your headphones in and out for your mic. Um, for a external express card. You've got your uh, drive here. It's a DVD drive basically. But the cool thing is you can take this out and there's an adapter you can get that lets you add another hard drive. So I could put another hard drive, an SSD just for my running my apps and another hard drive because the SSDs are a little bit expensive to get a really large one. So um, what else do we have here? Or do I hold it down? There we go. Tells me how much battery life. Very cool. Anyway, so that's pretty much, I, I'm guessing, about it. Let's have a look at the back of it. Um, there she is. If you have any questions, please post. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always happy to get back to you and, and answer any questions you have. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, again, I'm really sorry. I did my best. Uh, and also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to be loading up a lot more videos uh, and showing a lot more other stuff that I'm purchasing along the way. And also, have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. <laughs> See you guys.